Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Kai Jackson. We're all following two big stories tonight. One of them, a Fox 45 News town hall to save our schools. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump joined our panelists in Baltimore today to talk about the failures within the Baltimore City school system and how to overcome them. We begin with an update to the federal case against City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby. New documents shedding some light on just how much money Ms. Mosby makes and how she spends it. Jeff Abel has been pouring over those documents. He joins us live now with the very latest. Jeff. Well, the case against the state's attorney is becoming crystal clear, at least according to prosecutors who in newly filed documents accuse the state's attorney of lying and denying all the way to the bank. From the beginning, Marilyn Mosby has been defiant, vowing to beat the case, which she claims is nothing short of a witch hunt. I am innocent of the charges that have been levied against me and I intend to fight. But in several new court filings, federal prosecutors spelled out their case in minute detail, using Mosby's financial records, showing her paycheck increased $10,000 the year she claimed financial hardship and withdrew $90,000 from her retirement account without penalty. Prosecutors say she then used those funds to purchase two Florida vacation homes. In court filings, prosecutors write the fact that she used the funds to buy vacation homes is probative of the fact that no adverse financial consequence existed in the first place. The government's theory remains clear that the state's attorney did not suffer adverse financial hardships that would have justified what she did with respect to her uh, lockbox retirement funds. Prosecutors also write in detail about the $45,000 tax lien, which Mosby denied knowing anything about when applying for new loans on those Florida homes. Prosecutors wrote that Mosby's own attorneys wrote in correspondence last year that the defendant not only knew the loan had not been paid off on January 6, 2021, her counsel enclosed a copy of the ongoing installment agreement and a statement along with it that showed only a single payment had been made. In court filings, prosecutors told the judge the reality is that telling the truth matters. The laws are written for a reason and the defendant was required to follow them. I'm not really sure what Ms. Mosby's lawyers are doing. It feels like they're engaging in saber rattling, but without any real purpose. Um, you know, they're filing all these motions. They're losing every single one of them. They're losing credibility with respect to the judge. If they try this in front of a federal jury, I really think they're putting their client in a really perilous position. Well, defense attorneys maintain that the administrator of Mosby's retirement account failed to properly advise her about what was required when withdrawing money early from her account. The trial set to begin now in September. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.